Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to walk you around a 2021 Newmar King Air 4531. So this is a used unit, a used 2021. So we'll start by walking around the outside, then head inside. First thing I want to point out, standard on the Newmar King Air, we've got the Gerard Nova awning package. What that means to you is we have two awnings here. They are dual angle awnings. They come out and then drop down a little bit just to optimize the shade here while you're sitting on the patio side. Now those two awnings can be controlled three ways. There's a remote inside, there's a remote right here, and then there's two controllers down underneath. But my favorite way is just with the remote on the outside. What I love about these awnings is they can be controlled individually. So I just retracted the front awning And now I'll go ahead and retract the rear awning. And then last but not least, we've got this other, or the awning directly above the entry door. Let's see if I can go in with it. There we go. So we're gonna walk around the outside first. Let's start down here with one of our fuel fills. This is a dual side fuel fill coach. There is a total of 200 gallons of diesel fuel, or a tank that holds a total of 200 gallons of diesel fuel. In the first compartment, push button release latches, really, really big storage. Now, what's cool about these latches is they are push button release, but they are also soft closing, meaning you don't have to slam them. Basically, you just push it, to the, push it to the latch and then it sucks itself the rest of the way back in. Now, people get a little bit nervous with push button releases. There is an emergency release. Just say you lost power or something. You can release that door manually without uh, the button working. Next compartment, pass-through storage tray. Now, on a new marking air standard is going to be power trays. So push the button and out that tray comes 60% either direction. New for 2021 was the shelves up above our pass-through trays. While you lose a little bit of height, it actually adds additional storage, optimizes your storage situation just a little bit. Up above that storage compartment, we've got the Samsung 43-inch HD TV with the Bose Solo 5 soundbar down below just to make the sound a little bit better. Now this is on a pivot arm so you can pull it out, move it around as necessary. There is magnets on the back that are going to hold it into place while you're in transit and they're good magnets. You do have to give it quite a pull to get it to come out. Go ahead and close that. Just while we're kind of looking up here, the exterior paint on this is going to be the Voluto exterior decor. That is a full body paint, no stickers, no decals obviously on the King Air. Next compartment, another power pass-through bay, another uh, shelf up above, just for better storage. And then behind that, we've got the Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer on a tray, which does give us the ability to have either an exterior freezer or refrigerator or both, just depending on how you want to set it up. Controls for that are going to be right there on the side. There's also an app that you can download on your phone and control your temperatures via Bluetooth. Now, if you look back in that bay, you'll see quite a few electronics. The white boxes over on the left side, those are gonna be our other awning control boxes. We've got our RoadVac central vacuum system. This is where we're gonna clean out the bag, change the filter. We can also plug a hose in out here and vacuum out our car if we needed to. And then in the very back, we see the Oasis system. That is going to be our dual zone heat as well as continuous hot water. Moving back just a little bit, just a nice storage tray. Now behind this tray is going to be, or the, behind this wall is going to be our 105 gallon fresh water tank. And then here we've got our battery compartment. 
Now, the 2021 Newmar King Air did come standard with two Xantrax lithium battery packs. They're gonna total 2,520 amp hours total of battery power. Now with that, we also have two 3,000 watt inverters. What's really cool about this system is it actually gives us the ability to run an air conditioning off of our battery and inverter. So if we were you know, driving down the road, wanted to keep the living room cool, say someone's sitting back there, whatever, you can run that living room air conditioning to keep it cool while in transit without having to fire up the generator. New for 2021, we had blind spot monitoring put on the King Airs. That is standard. There's a total of eight little monitors here. Basically all it's gonna do is if a car was sitting right here and for some reason you couldn't see it in your mirror or your camera, that's gonna give you an alert on the dash not to come over. Moving back, 15 gallon DEF tank, your diesel exhaust fluid tank. Now a Spartan K3 chassis does come with these valves up in this compartment. Let's say for some reason your airbags were not inflating. That is a manual inflate for your airbags. Let's say you're at a campground, you fire the coach up, the airbags won't inflate so you can't move. We can manually inflate those airbags just to get you out of that situation, get you to a service center. Behind that, we've got our chassis battery tray. So two 12 volt chassis batteries, all those are gonna do is start the engine. Battery disconnects for the chassis batteries. So that if you're going into storage for an extended period of time, you don't come back to two, two dead chassis batteries and the coach won't start. Now we've also got our air dryer as well as our fuel water separator. All convenient, easy to access for your service needs. And then we'll come around the back and then we'll talk about the last thing in there. The Newmar King Air is powered by a Cummins ISX that is gonna be a 15 liter Cummins, which produces 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Now down below, we've got a two and a half inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Comes standard, the Spartan K3 comes ready for an Air Force One braking system for your tow vehicle. Seven pin connector for trailer brakes and trailer lights. And then the Voyager camera connection so that if you're pulling a big trailer with a camera on it, you can plug it in there and it will display your cameras from your trailer on the dash just to give you a safer tra travel. Now what's cool about the King Air is we actually have an air release hood. So I don't have to push it down or up. All I do is flip a switch. The hood will go up or come down. Now it is operated by air right here. We have another switch. This is an auxiliary compressor switch. Basically, if we didn't have enough air in the coach to open that hood, all we have to do is hold this switch for about 20 seconds, flip the lever, and up it'll go. Now, coming back to the back of the coach, we've got a backup camera up top. Now, what's cool about that backup camera is we can actually adjust the angle of it. So let's say we're trying to back up and hook into a trailer. We can look down on the hitch so we can see where we're going. But if we're trying to back into a spot, we can extend the view back so we can see a longer distance. Coming over to the driver's side, the new Mark King Air it does have a side mounted radiator. Now directly behind that radio, you've got your radiator, you've got your transmission and turbo cooler. So everything gets a little bit better airflow, keeps things cooler while you're in transit. Forward of that, the other side of our DEF fill, diesel exhaust fluid fill, again, 15 gallons total. Now I didn't mention it on the other side because I talked about awnings quickly, but Standard on the 2021 Newmark King Air was the Gerard window awning package. Now all of our big windows have these awnings built in to keep the sun from beating into them. Keeps us cooler in the winter or cooler in the summer without the sun heating up our coaches. Now also on the 2021 King Airs, Newmark changed up the windows and went with dual pane tinted bonded windows. So basically what that's gonna mean to you is you're not gonna have a window frame and we'll talk more about it when we get inside because all new Mars have uh, frameless dual pane windows, but we'll talk more about what's cool about bonded windows once we get inside. Next compartment is going to be our water bay, one of my favorite water bays on motorhomes. So over here we've got our fresh water inlet hose. It's uh, on a reel, so manual extend, power retract, push the button, sucks the hose back in. Standard, we've got the RV SantaCon system, which is gonna be a macerator pump to pump out our gray and black water tanks. Our mana block, what's really cool about this is if we had a leak somewhere, something happened, 
and we could isolate it, all we have to do is turn off, so let's say our shower's leaking. We can just turn off that, that way no water flows to it, and it does not ruin our camping trip. Monitor panel up here is gonna tell us fresh gray and black water levels. Hot and cold exterior shower. And then behind the second trap door, we've got all of our actual valves. So gray and black tang rinse, rinse valves. So we can hook a hose up there, activates the sprinkler system inside of our holding tanks to clean them out. Low point drains, more low point drains, and then our winterization valve. Right here, we've got the housing for our whole house water filter. Now we winterize these coaches, um, so it's not gonna be installed right now, but when you actually take delivery, there'll be a water filter canister right here. And then the King Air comes with power, gray and black towel, gray and black valves. So basically, all we have to do is push a button, it's gonna extend our gray and black valves, help us dump the tanks without us really having to get near anything gross. Now obviously, power things do have the potential to cause problems, so Numar did a great job by making a backup system. We'll teach you about that on day of delivery. Next compartment, we've got our 50 amp power cord. It's gonna be a 50 foot cord on a reel. Again, manual extend, power retract. Up front here, this coach does have the option of the 30 amp connection for your, for your stacker. So if you're pulling a big stacker trailer, you can actually plug it in there, have power off of your 12,500 watt generator. And then we reach the other side of our two pass-through bays. Again, push button to extend them, push button to retract them. Now what differentiates the King Air from most other coaches is in this bay, we do not have our batteries, they're back a little farther. So to make use of this bay, we've got the RoadWave pressure washer system. Makes life really nice. You pull into your campground after a long day of driving, you got a lot of bugs. You can spray off the front of your coach, make sure it's looking pretty. Or if you wanna wash your toad, whatever you need, you've got a pressure washer down below. Other side of our 200 gallon diesel fuel tank, so we can fill from both sides. And then last but not least, up here we've got our electronics compartment for the chassis. So that's gonna be our fuses for the uh, for all of our Spartan, Spartan stuff. Push button, HWH slide to extend that 12,500 watt generator out. Now being that this is a used coach, this generator has just under 110 hours on it. Again, 12,500 watt diesel generator. It's gonna pull directly off of that 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. Now before any used coach leaves Transwest slot. We do service the generator, service the engine. We are a Spartan certi warranty certified center as well as an Onan certified warranty center. Now, while we're up here, let's talk about the stock number. This unit is 5U210655. Again, it is a 2021 Newmark King Air 4531. This unit is here, it's available, it's ready for a new home. So now we can go ahead and walk inside. Before we do that, right here at the entry door, we do have a keyless entry. So we can put in whatever code you want it to be. Now, what's cool about this keyless entry is it can unlock both the entry door as, as well as all of your bay doors, as well as lock them. We also have a camera system so that you can look and see who's at your coach, either from inside or via an app on your phone. You can go ahead and first. So as we walk into this new Marking Air, all of our slides are completely closed up so that you can see it in transit mode. So I'll walk back towards the back here just so you can see me get through. Lots of room, slide on through. I can access the refrigerator. Equally as important, I can get into my half bath. So I do have access to a toilet. And then both of my pantries, if I wanted to grab a snack, I can open them up as well. Now the other cool thing about this King Air is your 72 by 80 King bed is still fully functional while you're in transit. So 
So I'm gonna change things up a little bit from how I usually do it. We're gonna talk about the cab first, and then we'll head back into the actual motorhome. So one thing that I really love about the King Air, and it's a great safety feature, is with those push button electronic doors, baggage doors, it actually will display if I have a baggage door open right here on the dash. Now I don't have any, I do have one open. So my back right bay is open. I meant to leave one open so that I could show this, but really just a good safety feature. That way you don't take off with the baggage door open. You never seem to see them until it's too late. So love that about the King Air. So we're gonna start over here on the left. Right here, we've got the controls for our HWH computerized leveling. Now there's two types of leveling on the King Air. The HWH system is going to be your four hydraulic jacks. Basically, when you pull into a campground, all you have to do is hit auto level. It's gonna drop all four jacks, drop the airbags, level you out, take all the play out of the suspension. Next, we have the touchpad for our Allison 4000 MH automatic transmission. So we have drive, neutral, reverse, mode, which is gonna be economy versus performance. And then these little push button arrows are just going to be to shift up and down. Really helpful when you're going through the mountains. Tag dump switch, engine brake on and off master. Now the Newmar King Air does come with a three stage engine brake. So you have a low, medium, high, low, medium and high option. Up here, we've got a wireless charging pad for our cell phones. And I love that they actually put it in a convenient place. Not that you want to be using it while you're driving, but you see I threw it up there, it started charging right away. Parking brake release, uh, headlight control, so headlights on, running lights on, off, and now in the 2021s we do have automatic headlights as well as automatic high beams. So if you're driving down the road, the, the high beams will come on and off um, as cars are going by you so you don't have to sit there and play with it. Bright and dim the dash. Mark a light interruption just to flash people as you're passing them, or as they're passing you to let them know they're clear. Dome light, which is gonna be map lights up above my head. Traction control override, power toll window for the driver's side. Air horn on and off. House and battery boost. So if one of our battery banks died, we can use the other one to grab some power and uh, get us on the road. And then heavy tow mode. So this is a pretty cool feature. Basically what it's gonna do is transfer some of the weight from the hitch, you know, if you have a 20,000 pound trailer, you probably have about 2,000 pounds of tongue weight. It's gonna transfer some of that weight up towards the front to give you a more smooth, comfortable, safe ride. Over on my left side, hopefully you can see it, we have driver's seat memory. We have three options, so if you and your spouse or friend, kid, whoever's gonna be driving, we can set it. So all they have to do is push a button, it'll take it back to their spot. Now the King Air does have power tilt and telescoping steering. So push the button on the side here, and it's gonna move my steering wheel around. Now also, we have power uh, pedal adjustment, which is gonna be this button right here. On the dash, this is the new Spartan dash. Scroll through, we'll talk about air leveling first. So I mentioned earlier that we have two types of leveling. Now the first one was the HWH hydraulic leveling, which is gonna be the four jacks underneath. The second one is going to be air leveling. So basically all it's going to do is use the airbags underneath this coach, your air suspension, to move you around and level the coach. Let's see if I can go to more. So if you scroll through and go to more, it's going to actually give you a representation of where you're at. Now I'm sitting in a pretty unlevel situation here, so I would not be too surprised if it doesn't get fully level. But if you were sitting in here with me, you'd be able to feel it moving around right now. Go to exit. So messages, this is just gonna tell me that my adaptive cruise control is turned off right now. I'll get to that. Trip, info, tire pressure monitoring system. So that's gonna give us both a visual representation and it'll give us an audible warning if we're getting too low on one of our tires. Adaptive cruise control. Now the 2021 Newmark King Air comes with quite a few different safety features. So we've got adaptive cruise control, mobile eye, which is a lane keeping assistance but oops, maybe there we go so we have three different options for how we can set up our adaptive cruise control we can do distance long medium or short basically that's just adjusting the following distance between the you and the vehicle in front of you moving over here to the right we've got 
our two cam or our two screens. Now this left screen here is going to be our radio, um, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM, as well as our navigation. On 2021 King Airs, it came standard with Rand McNally navigation. What's cool about Rand McNally is you can actually set the parameters of the motorhome so we're 45 feet long, 13 feet, six inches tall, and it won't take you down roads that you can't make it down. We can also go to camera control. Now this right screen over here is gonna be dedicated to our cameras. So right now we're looking out the rear. 360 camera system does a lot for us. So now we're looking out the front, left blinker, left straight out, right straight out, right blinker, or we have the 360 view, which gives us kind of a bird's eye view looking down, um, really helps if you're tight, backing into tight spots. Now I mentioned outside, but this is the adjustment for our rear camera. So let's say we're trying to back up to a trailer, push the lower level, and if we had a ball sitting right there, it would give us just a really nice view of the trailer and hitch. And then, last but not least, entry camera. That's that camera right below that keyless entry outside. So just a little bit of added security there. So now, we'll go ahead and get these slides opened up. So in 2019, Newmar made a change to their safety system. So you used to not be able to run slides out unless the engine was off. Now in 2021, they have switched it so that your slide safety mechanism is on the parking brake. They do that so you can draw power from the alternator because a hydraulic level or hydraulic slide out system takes quite a bit of power. Now, we do have dual hydraulic slides in the 2021 Newmark King Air 4531. So what you're going to see now is that it's fully extended. It's going to drop down and go to a full flush tile floor. That is full extension on the door, off door side. Now we're extending the door side. All right, and then last slide is going to be the bedroom. So I will say this is probably one of my favorite interiors that I've ever been in in a motorhome. Um, beautiful kind of grays, neutral colors. Um, now, while I'm just sitting here waiting for this one, this one's a little slower, let's talk about the things that are up on the roof that we could not see. So standard, we have three 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps built into them, all controlled in zones via the Silverleaf multiplex system. This coach also has a dual satellite system. So we have a WineGuard Traveler as well as a WineGuard RTT20B. So we have two different options just depending on your needs and what you want to use. And you can also switch back and forth as needed. So we'll start in the master bath of this King Air. So first things first, I mean, it's just a beautiful master bath back here. We have a full tile shower. Let's start over here with the emergency egress door. Let's just say there was a fire in the front of the coach. We can get out through the back as needed. Hopefully something you never have to use, but it's there if you need it. As for our rear closet, we have a cedar lined hanging storage as well as shoe shelving in the back. Now, We've also got the safe built in. I really love this inlaid light in our hanging storage. It does turn on and off automatically when we open the door. Now, back there is also where we're gonna see all of our AV equipment, so our wine guard uh, traveler control, Blu-ray player, all that stuff. They keep it back there, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. For just a little bit, we've got one really big medicine cabinet. Nice big vanity mirror, more inlaid lighting inside of that mirror. And then down below, quartz countertop with a hammered stainless steel sink. Gives you a very nice high end feel. Down below, lots of toiletry storage here. Now every drawer, every cabinet door, everything is going to be soft closing inside of this new marking air. Big cabinet. And then more 
drawers coming up the front side. The shower on this new Marking Air is absolutely beautiful. All tile. We've got the bench in here. You can see the drain down in there, but they did a really nice recessed drain. drain. And then rain shower head as well as the sprayer wand. Push button to select those. So push one, or just push button and it'll turn on each shower head depending on what you need. Assist handle, and then the bottles for our uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Now, Numar does an awesome thing with the shower miser system. Basically, that's a recirculation valve. It's gonna take the cold water that's sitting in the lines and recirculate it back into the fresh water tank and bring hot water up. Um, so that Oasis system we talked about down below, which is gonna give, you a, give us continuous hot water, it recirculates the water back into the tank and then the uh, Oasis system circulates water back into our lines. So you don't have to wait and waste water to warm up. Right here, stacked washer and dryer. Now, I love this because it's unobstructed. There's plenty of room to get in here and actually do a load of laundry, which is going to bring us into the bedroom. So we've got another Samsung HD TV that is going to be a 4K TV, an AV compartment here for this TV. More storage. Down below, another quartz countertop with wardrobe all the way around it. And then this was an option for the 2021 King Air, but we do have the bedroom fireplace as well. Now that is going to produce heat, about a 5,000 BTU of furnace, but gives some very nice ambiance as you're laying in bed at night. I mentioned it earlier, but we have a 72 by 80 king bed. Now this coach has the option for the sleep number R5 radius corner uh, air mattress. So you can adjust the firmness of your mattress on the fly with the remote. Now in each bed base, we do have wireless charging for our cell phone. So you can just throw your phone up there. It'll charge all night, as well as additional power ports, uh, 110 as well as USBs, just depending on what you need. Coming into the kitchen area, the King Air 4531 does have a dual pantry. So we'll go ahead and extend this one first. Nice and big adjustable shelves up and down as needed and automatic lighting. So it does turn off when I close this. Same thing with this one. Might be a little bit easier to get a view from it over here. And then over here, we've got the 22 cubic foot Viking refrigerator. Now it is a French door refrigerator. Freezer drawer down below with ice. Now this is the biggest refrigerator that Newmark can offer. And what's cool about the Newmark King Air is it actually has a deeper slide height so I can actually stand in here versus the Newmar Mountain or the Dutch Shark. I can't because of the way they do their flooring. Now, with that, we also get an 85 inch uh, ceiling height. So you don't ever feel claustrophobic walking into this motorhome. Not that you should at any Newmar, but it's just something that the Newmar King Air does a little bit different by doing a little bit less thick floor, but still get a better insulation value out of it. As we open up that drawer, you're gonna be exposed to the Viking 30 inch convection microwave. With storage up above. Now this was new for 2021. We've got the European style cabinets. So you're not gonna see any hardware or anything on the front of them. And it gives you a really nice flush clean look all the way across your cabinets. More storage here. Now all of our shelves are going to be carpet lined as well as adjustable up and down as needed. We've got the rollout drawer, just to optimize that storage a little bit. Same thing here.
and then down below the quartz countertop big stainless steel farmhouse sink underneath now with quartz countertops you just have to be aware these are pretty heavy countertop covers but Newmar does an awesome job by giving you a padded storage area down below to put them when they are not in use but really really nice big deep sink plenty of room to be doing dishes and then over here we've got the two burner wolf induction cooktop nice big and beautiful anyone who's ever used a wolf cooktop knows just how nice they are now down below countertop more drawers for additional storage silverware drawer and then the Fisher and Paykel dishwasher now King Airs are awesome because they do do the in or the same cabinet front for your dishwasher now to open it it does have a lock to open it just knock twice and it opens right up if I went to knocked on it it would have been really hard to pull that out just because of the way it locks now after I close it it's gonna lock after a predetermined amount of time Right here, pull out drawer for your trash can as well as your uh, sink covers that I showed you earlier. And then one more nice pull out drawer. Again, just trying to optimize the storage as best that they can. Three really long drawers here. And what's really awesome about it is those three really long drawers are part of a countertop extension that rolls out to give you extra workspace while you're in here cooking. Now, coming over to the kitchen side, or the table side, we've got the table and chairs with the really big dinette, or uh, really big buffet up here. What I really love about buffets is it allows you to put all of your serving trays and stuff over there. So on your table, all you need is your plates and your drinks. There is two more folding chairs for this table that will match this Voluto decor and give you the, per the ability to slit, sit four people at that table. Now, this particular dinette setup does give you a little bit of a computer desk and a ton of storage underneath it. This is gonna be a rollout drawer but if you're someone who might be working from the road, lots of room under here if you want to put a printer or something. There is power on both sides. All your shelving is adjustable up and down as needed. More storage towards the front of it here. Now this is gonna be all of our manuals and stuff that come standard with these coaches. Um, it's very nice that the previous owner did keep all that stuff in here so that when you take delivery of it, we will have it all for you. Now this is a great kind of filing cabinet style drawer. To keep all your important paperwork if you're going to be living in this coach full time. So I mentioned on the outside, but let's talk about it now, the dual pane tinted bonded windows. So basically, that normal black frame that we have going around our windows that isn't really attractive, that is completely eliminated with bonded windows. Gives you just a much higher end, cleaner look on the inside of the coach. And then we're gonna go ahead. All of our shades are going to be power auto motion shades. So all I have to do is touch the screen on one of these KIV panels going to drop all of our shades. Now we do have dual shades. We have a day shade and a night shade. This is going to be our night shade, our total blackout. I'm going to put those back up. And then I'm going to show you one of my favorite features of these higher end coaches. So if I go on this KB panel, KIB panel and hit systems, and that's not what I wanted systems and then hit this button called theater mode it's going to do one of the really cool things so 
basically when I hit theater mode, it's gonna dim all of our lights and just turn on our accent lighting up and around the fascia and as well as under the couch. The other thing it's gonna do is it's automatically gonna lift up our 55 inch 8K TV. And give us just a really nice space in here that we can sit, watch a movie, enjoy some quiet time. Um, it's kind of one of those things that I don't know if I would ever use it, but I think it's a really cool feature. Actually, I know for a fact I would use it. It's kind of one of my favorites. So we're going to go back over here and all lights on. Now, these KIB panels, there's a total of 12 of them in this motorhome. They are going to be your whole house control or more your secondary controls for the coach. So depending on where the panel is, is going to depend on what it's going to control. The ones in the slide outs are going to control the functions in the slide out. So overhead lights are going to be these lights right above me. Dinette lights are going to be the lights above the dinette. Now there's also a master one up at the front, which is going to control the entire coach. And there's another bigger panel, which we'll talk about in a minute that controls literally everything. But from here, I can turn on and off my lights, control all of my shades, fans. So we have overhead fans in the bathroom, both bathrooms as well as in the kitchen. Turn those on and off from here. Monitor panel, just so that you can see uh, what your gray, black, and fresh water, as well as your batteries levels are at without having to get up. And then window awnings, which are gonna be those awnings on the outside that we talked about to um, keep the sun from beating in. So I can push the button here, right behind me. You can see it coming in. So another option that this coach has is going to be kind of a chase lounge sofa. Chase lounge. So over here, push the button. Foot rest is going to come out and then up. just to give you a nice comfortable seating area. Now it is situated directly across from that 55 inch 8K TV. So rather than having uh, true theater seating or ottomans, we have the Chase Lounge. Pretty comfortable sofa situation. Now we do have extensions for both this side as well as that side. Unfortunately, there is nothing in the middle. Now in the new King Air, we do have all Italian leather. It's very nice feeling. The only way to really describe it is you have to come sit in it. And then over on the off door side, we do have the trifold sofa sleeper, which is going to be a trifold with an air mattress. Now, working my way back up front here, let's talk about the passenger side of this coach. So right here on the right side of me, I've got a step cover button. So basically that's gonna come out, go flush, give me a nice place to sit without having to put my feet in a hole. Now it is load bearing, I can stand on it, it's not gonna be a big deal. Patio lights on and off, visor for your passenger, and then we've got the monitor panel. Now from here we can look at our uh, navigation, change where we're going, also look at our cameras. Now both the driver and passenger seat are standard heating, cool, heated, cooled, and massaging seats. And then we also have another wireless charger over here for the passenger. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this King Air. That's a good point. All right, I've just been notified that I completely spaced to show the mid bath. <laughs> so right here in the middle of the coach, The 4531 is a bath and a half model. Right now I'm just playing with the other KIB panel that's in here. So above here, we've got our circuit breakers and fuses for the house. We've got inverter two, inverter one, very residential style circuit box, breaker box, 12 volt fuses, as well as a e couple extra fuses here. Really big window. Now this is an opening window in the bathroom. Do have a vent fan up here as well. And then another medicine cabinet hidden behind the mirror. More inlaid lights inside the mirror. Another hammered stainless steel sink. And then just toiletry storage down below. 
Now the other thing you're going to see in there is our connections for our central vacuum system as well as a kick lever. So I can actually just sweep dirt right here, turn that on, and it'll suck the dirt out without me ever having to attach a hose to that central vacuum. All right, so now I'm gonna be done with this walkthrough of the new marking air. Uh, again, this is a used 2021, it's here, it's available. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz. I work at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.